Good morning. It's Thursday, July the 30th, and this is The Drill. Thank you very much. Welcome to all the butchers, bakers, and candlestick makers out there. I'm Ron, your host, and the only true conservative in the United States today. Who is the faux conservative? He is the man that thinks the way that the left wants him to. He thinks that he is a conservative because of his position on the issues. He is traditionalistic and reactionary. He's dogmatic and therefore makes the same mistakes over and over again. He pretends that politics shapes culture. He apes the left. He takes psychological, conversational, and social cues from the left. He is movement-oriented and thinks that to defeat the left, you must think and act like the left. The faux conservative has just as much desire to reform the U.S. as the left. The faux conservative thinks that the socialist problem is solely political and top-down, that one merely needs to elect enough conservatives, and presto, the problem will automatically be solved. The podcast is not about convincing your politician to do a better job, but to aid in shaping Ameri- aid you in shaping American culture. The efforts to defeat socialism must recognize that culture informs politics and act accordingly. My podcast is short, approximately 5 to 10 minutes long, because shorter podcasts are easier to download and listen to. The biggest socio-political influences in my life are my parents, my teachers, Ayn Rand, and Dr. Mortimer Adler. My podcast is made available through Spreaker and can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. Today, what can a true conservative do? Quote of the day, positive news, and how to think about the controversies surrounding Ellen DeGeneres. All that when I come back. Thank you, thank you. What can a true conservative do? Remember that for better or worse, your parents are the biggest influences on your life today. They are not just here on this earth to support and respect you, but also to be supported and respected by you. Next up, quote of the day. Thank you, thank you. The quote of the day comes from dailyscripture.net. Lord Jesus, may your word take deep root in my heart and transform my way of thinking, discerning, and acting. May your spirit open my ears to hear and understand the word of God in the scriptures that I may revere and treasure both the Old and the New Testaments, which God has prepared for all who desire to enter his kingdom of righteousness, peace, and joy. Help me to be a diligent student and faithful disciple of your word. Amen. No other so-called conservatives even mention Jesus Christ, much less say a prayer, yet every one of them claims to be a Christian. This is why I make sure to include a daily prayer in my podcast. Coming up, good news. Thank you. From the presidential campaign, Joe Biden is still not president of the United States. Up next, how to think about Ellen DeGeneres. Thank you. Ellen DeGeneres has found herself embroiled in controversy lately. The news departments have reported that there are several disgruntled employees on her show and that they have been talking out of school. Reports have surfaced about employees being mistreated and underpaid. Also, she's reported to be, quote, one of the meanest people alive, unquote. What should a true conservative think about this? Well, remember that last October, 
Ellen was defending herself and her friendship with former President George W. Bush. Ellen was televised sitting in a corporate box with Mr. Bush during a football game and received a lot of criticism from the left about it at that time. And Ellen, instead of walking it back or apologizing for being seen with Mr. Bush, she defended herself and said that uh, she should be able to be friends with whoever she wants. There was no complaints about her show or her or being mean or people being underpaid before this. Now she's facing an investigation from the very production companies that are putting on their show. So if you think that socialists treat conservatives badly, look at how they treat their own. Back in a minute. Who is the true conservative? He is the person that has the courage of his convictions and is confident in what he knows. He's the person that understands that cultural conservatism is more important than political conservatism. He's not selfish but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He's patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He's open-minded, asking why rather than why not. He is consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he's better than the socialist. He's a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you don't know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you're wasting your time. And that concludes another episode of The Drill. Be honest, be smart, be beautiful, and always ask yourself, what is real? How do I know? What should I do about it? I'm Ron, and that's The Drill.